Okay, yeah, cool. We're recording. Um, so using spreadsheets is really, really a useful tool, um, especially, um, it, you know, you don't, don't, don't worry if you don't completely follow all of this. But essentially, a spreadsheet is like an extremely advanced calculator where every single cell interacts with every a cell is what I've, is one of these rectangles here. So these are all cells. Let's imagine I've writ, I write four in there and five in there. What if I want this cell here to equal to that cell multiplied by that cell? So I write equals and then I choose the cell that I want to multiply. Star is what we is when we say multiply and choose that one and then we press enter and it gives us the sum. So um, basically it does that. It does lots and lots of other things. It's extremely powerful. Um, it's, you know, like this, it's um, pretty advanced what it can do. And it's very, and but it's, you can do really, really basic stuff and you can get extremely complicated, really clever stuff on it. We're going to do, and it's sort of not incredibly um, complicated, but <clears throat> we're going to just get our question. So I'm going to take a snapshot of the question that we uh, were looking at. This one here, we already know what the answer is. Uh, we're just going to solve it again using our quadratic calculator. And once you've once you've made this, once I've made it, you can use it to test and um, to find the answers to any question, um, any quadratic um, formula at all. So, in this case, we we can see that a is five, b is twenty one, and c is four. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to rename this one. At the moment it's B2 because this is this name over here because that's B and that's 2. But I can actually just change that just to A and then press enter. And now that cell is just called A. Um, I can change this one to B and then change this one to C. Oops, let's try that again. Is it not going to let me do that? Oh, it doesn't let me do that. What I'll do is I'll just have to put, a, can I do that maybe? No, let, don't let me do that anyway. Let me label it A and B, but it doesn't let me label it C. I don't know why. If I do an underscore, that might work. Oh, wait a second. Okay, cool. <clears throat> the other ones are just regular, but for some reason it won't let me label that. So, um, so now, now this will mean that I can actually find the answer a lot more easily. So this is, I'm going to write answer here, and the answer is going to, or answer, answer one, and then um, let's let's make the answer appear there, and answer two. So this is where we're going to produce the answer. So I'm going to say equals and negative, and then we write b. And it says 21 because it is, and then we're going to say plus. But I'm not going to I'm not going to do plus minus because that's going to be for answer two. Just plus. Now the square root. How do I, is it? S. There you go. Positive square root. So I'm going to do that one, and then and then I'm going to do brackets. And inside this, I'm going to do b again. I'm going to do. I'm just going to do b times b for b squared. Um, I'm going to put that in brackets too because I can never remember my bid math rules. And then I'm just going to do minus and then close bracket, open bracket again. Then I'm going to do 4 times a times and then c. Hmm, I'll have to do the underscore c. That value there. So if I press enter so far, um, I don't want to, that's an automatic, it's suggested autofill, we don't want that. Um, it gives us minus two. Now obviously that's wrong because so far I've not divided it by 2a. So I'm going to put, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put brackets around the whole thing. And then uh, divide by two times a, so two times a. 
and that was four. Now, let me just see if I've done that right. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, minus four. Okay, so what's going on there? So, oh, it's because it's got rid of the minus sign there, I think. Minus, okay. Minus four times two. Let's see. Okay, cool. That looks good. Because one of the answers was minus 0 0.2. Awesome. Um, so now we're, we're going to just copy that formula. And it obviously gives us the same answer, but we're going to tweak it now. Where it says plus, we're going to take change that to minus. And we got minus 4. So, <clears throat> so that is our quadratic calculator. We're going to, we're going to just move this a little bit so we can just tidy it up. That's an example question. That's the formula. And I'm going to just make this a lot smaller. I'm going to, I've just highlighted all the columns and then delete all those. And we don't want any of these rows either. Now it's just, just a tiny little thing. And we're going to delete that top bit there. Um, let's also delete. Let's delete. Um, yeah, we'll leave that there. And then we're just going to. Let's just make these into a grid like that. And like that. So. These ones here can be where you'll enter the data. And these these ones here, which are colored blue, this will be where it produces the result. So that is a quadratic calculator. So we can you can use this now to solve any quadratic equation whatsoever. Okay, so I'll stop that.